Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. To see my beautiful collection of minerals, type on YouTube Rock and Mineral Identification and scroll down until you see my name, Frank Riser, space capital M period, capital S period. Today is a demonstration of biology and physics. I am going to show the AC waveform of house mains voltage entering into my body. But first, a quick review of how voltage is transported to your house. Electricity is produced in a power plant, such as a coal-based power plant. It is then stepped up to 500,000 volts and transmitted along long transmission lines. It's stepped down in a substation to 33,000 volts, usually, not always, and transmitted along at 33,000 volts to another substation which transfers the power down to 14,000 volts. It is important to remember that as voltage goes down, current goes up. Voltage times current equals power. Then, the 14,000 volts is transmitted along utility poles that you see along the road until it reaches your house. Here's your house. But first, on a utility pole is a transformer that steps it down to 220 volts. In the house, it is then transported down to 120 volts, technically 117 volts. The voltage is an AC waveform, meaning that it alternates in such a form that it is an alternating current. We can see this alternating current in the following demonstration. Let's go into the electronic shop. This is a breaker box. It has circuit breakers in it. Each one is rated for 15 or 20 amps. Higher amperage than what can be provided by a high transmission line at 500,000 volts. The main switch to switching off the power is up here. If you open this up, you can see Take this down. You can see inside your breaker box. The positive or hot comes in here. The neutral comes in here at one hundred at two hundred twenty volts. It then goes through the main breaker that shuts off the power. It is reduced to 117 volts at the circuit breakers. In order to regain that, 100, that 220 volts, you need to connect the circuit breakers in a certain configuration. This is the neutral bus bar, or ground, safety ground. This is my oscilloscope. It shows the waveform, which I'm going to have enter my body, and you will see it displayed on the oscilloscope. 
How am I going to do that? I've plugged in an extension cord. The hot or 117 volts is the smaller square. I'm going to stick a screwdriver into that square. Don't worry, I'm wearing rubber soled shoes so I won't get a shock. And it's a dry floor. We can detect the voltage with this volt detector. Which I have to turn on. Green means no voltage. Red means voltage. Red means voltage. 117 volts. I'll stick the screwdriver back in the outlet. Until we get the red again. And there we are. The screwdriver made out of metal is at 117 volts potential. I'm grabbing on. I'm grabbing on to the screwdriver and I'm going to hold it down with one hand. And if I grab the detector of voltage, you'll notice it flashes red. Right now, my body has 117 volts potential compared to the ground. I am hot. Now, I told you that the waveform of incoming voltage to the house is an AC waveform, and we can see it on the oscilloscope. I'm going to bring my hand close to the probe lead that is attached to the oscilloscope. And while I do that, watch the oscilloscope. And there is the waveform. That waveform is 117 volts peak to peak. And it's going through my body. I'm holding the screwdriver in my right hand and I'm holding the probe with my left hand. If I release the probe, no more voltage is detected. But when I grab the probe, we see the development of the waveform. I am hot. Normally, the last thing you want to do is stick your finger in an outlet. But I'm doing it here as a demonstration, and I'm wearing rubber-soled shoes on a dry floor, and I'm not receiving a shock. So I hope you enjoyed today's demonstration. And remember to always keep looking down.